quickly. Barrow Fields to Thomas O'Roca, but they are oh so closest. It's certainly the closest battle that is going on in the race at the moment. As around goes the 45 car of Christian Overgaard. Whoa. That must be a heart in the stomach moment. And Christian Overgaard has got round and he might not lose out of place here. He was just ahead of Josh Cartu. Here's Jens Liebhauser in the uh, number 44 car. And if Overgaard has been able to hold on to that place, that will be a big save. In Beckett's is not uh, the best place to have a spin. <laughs> Whoa. So let's see. Oh, there we are. Just on the back of Martin Nelson. And just a complete 360. Back uh, on track. <laughs> extraordinary. Daniel Diamato then, uh, once again, has not put a foot wrong, it would appear. And his margin is just uh, two one thousandths off of uh, three seconds, or it was last time around. Last lap. His last lap at 207.247, as opposed to Philip Barron's, which was no 7316. So, again, I'm very impressed with Philip Barron that he's been able to keep within a couple of seconds of uh, Daniel Diamato, but he's just had the edge, hasn't he? This uh, CDP engineered car and driver combination. The car looks good, the car looks really, really settled, and the driver is doing a great job as well, because you can have the best car in the world, Olivia. You've got to pedal it, haven't you? Well, it's like everything. He's a good group of mechanics, a good engineer, a good driver, a good group. Uh, no one make a difference. You know, it's a group team, and uh, the result always comes with uh, everyone who is in the team. And we do see that. The teams all win and lose and share the same emotion as the driver that's out there driving the car. And uh, Rosso Corsa will be super proud of Philip Barron, who's done a really, really good job to, to try and take the race to uh, Daniele Diamato, but has just not been able quite to close it. We're into the final lap now. Yeah. Is it when you get to the final lap that you think, oh, come on, Philip Barron must be thinking just, I want one mistake from you. One mistake is all I need. Yeah, the leading one wants to have the checker flag the quickest as possible, and the second one is waiting one the mistake. The <laughs> yes. So uh, Bjorn Greisman then, who is uh, running in P5 in the race. This will be a phenomenal finish for Chris Froggart, the car that we look at now. He's the leading AM driver, but he's actually P3 in the race overall. So that basically means, of course, that he'll be in the main race podium by dint of being the, uh, the third driver, which is uh, supreme. Great drive from uh, Chris Froggart, the British driver, who Oliver and I were talking about at the uh, start of the program. For someone with relatively little race experience, he's uh, driving uh, beyond himself, that's for sure. Yeah, no mistake, fast and make the podium. I mean, uh, we cannot ask for more. So uh, Bjorn Grossman has got past uh, Chris Froggart. So Chris Froggart now is going to be uh, P1 in the AMS. P2 in the AMS is going to be Jens Liebhauser. Then it'll be Alessandro uh, Vezzoni, who's a pro driver, so he'll be off the podium, but Martin Nelson will be on the podium for P3 in the AMS. On the final lap, then, is uh, Daniele Diamato. Yeah, uh, heading I mean, Beckett's, to... Beckett's corner. Yeah, straight line. I think... Uh, is that one of the most thrilling parts of the Silverstone circuit? It's a beautiful... Uh, yes. It's a beautiful S's. Uh, difficult, technical, but fantastic to, to drive. So there is our race leader then, Daniele Diamato then. Two corner. Stowe. And then uh, blip on the throttle then, heading towards uh, a veil and then club. And then it will be done. Nearly job done. I think his dad will be more relaxed now. Yes, I think you're right. I think you're right. He heads towards the checkered flag to take a yet another win. Daniel Diamato wins from Philip Barron, who takes uh, P2. And P3 will be going the way of Bjorn Grossman, but he is some... Let me get this right. He is 28 seconds back. Is that right? No, 18 seconds back. No, I was right. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, a long, long way back. Oh, and interestingly, there is the uh, number 92 car of uh, Sam Smith, who did get the car back out going again. So whatever issue they had, they did manage to solve it and get him back out there, which, of course, will uh, deliver valuable data for race two tomorrow, but uh, ain't going to be the result that he would have wanted. Here comes uh, Jens Liebhauser, then, who will take P2 in the AM category. Alessandro 
Vizzoni crosses the line uh, P6, then it's going to be uh, Martin Nelson who will take the uh, final step of the uh, am podium assuming christian overgaard has not managed to get past him but he's trying as martin nelson makes the car as wide as possible here comes christian overgaard as they head towards the line nice Whoa. nice bear, nice bear in mind overgaard had gone round just a good lap or so ago hadn't he? Photo finish. yes brilliant so there we have it then uh, the podium set diamato baron and grossman will be seeing in the pros for the ams it will be froggart liebhauser and by the skin of his teeth, Martin Nelson. Oh, what a great race. There is uh, Palak Kiersgaard then in the uh, number 82 car that will uh, take the checkered flag. And we're also waiting for uh, Per Nielsen, Creton Lendudis, Holger Harmsen. And uh, it will be Creton Lendudis who will be best of the uh, four, five, eight ahead of uh, Holger Harmsen. There was only a second between the two of them, though, so this could be another fight to the finish as Holger Hansen then uh, takes a look at the inside. It is uh, just one turn to do, and uh, whatever Holger Hansen throws at it now, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Uh, it is going to be Creton Lendudis that will take the podium for the uh, 458 cars. And Holger Hansen there with immediately with his arm out of the window. There comes Gallup Attar, who will take uh, P3 in the uh, 458s. And all the cars have uh, crossed the timing line. So what was really, really great about that race was all good, clean race action, wasn't it? No crashes, no problems. And, and some fight, good overtaking. Yes. Just some 